Hello, welcome to another Gun About Operation 2 video. That is the new suit, the Zaku 4. And man, we got our second four star raid at 700. And uh, yeah, there's obviously some questions for it. A lot of people have been asking, well, is this better than EZZ? Is it worse? Uh, how does it compete compared to the other raids? And uh, yeah, we'll see if that can be answered. And uh, first of all, I got a match here for you. Might be another match uh, or two. This first match here is me using it in City Ruins solo uh, in a rating match, and the next match is actually my, if there's a potentially next match, uh, it's actually going to be my first match with these Aku 4, which I didn't post uh, after my initial thought, or not initial thoughts, my testing video. So uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and I don't really use, uh, I keep doing the uh, Tomahawk or the Heat Axe first, although there's some, uh, you, for some people, you might want to use the, uh, the other melee weapon it has. But uh, yeah, we'll go into uh, the stats here. I already mentioned is a 700 raid. And for stats, you have 24 ballistic and beam resistance. You have 31 melee uh, resistance. You have 20 range strength and 50 uh, melee strength. You have 145 movement speed. You have two, 235 boost speed. You have 85 thruster gauge and 84 turning speed. And then I believe, uh, yeah, here you go for the uh, part slots. You have 22 close range slots, you have 18 medium range slots, and you have 12 long range slots. So yeah, definitely this is gonna be a, a pretty heavy melee suit. Well, at least uh, with the, the part slots here. And you can see that the melee strength is pretty high on the suit. Uh, but you know, uh, you can do some stuff with the with the, uh, the range strength as well. Uh, so you, know, you can do that. And then for uh, resistances, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, <laughs> 24 24 uh, that could be a little bit tough definitely want to buff those up you do have the slots to buff those up uh, you can definitely get near max uh, melee resistance which should be pretty helpful for your suit uh, as you can see I'm just getting booty blasted by these two so uh, don't play like me just be uh, very obvious with your <laughs> your axe which I, I do a lot this match uh, so I don't do that but uh, yeah you can definitely uh, buff yourself up and uh, help yourself against some of these suits but uh, yeah, now for your uh, weapons here, which you have uh, quite a few. You First of all, we're going to start off with the Zaku 4 IP. Oh, I forgot to mention the full name is actually the Zaku 4 IP, not just the Zaku 4. It stands for Ilya Pazome. I don't know if I pronounced that right. But uh, yeah, you have the Zaku 4 IP beam machine gun, which honestly feels more like a, a submachine gun. But uh, yeah, that is uh, 450 damage. You have 12 shots, and I believe it takes 6 for every burst fire, and has 300 range. Uh, and yeah, it is a very rapid fire weapon. I believe for every burst, yeah, like we mentioned, does six. Uh, it shoots six for every burst. And I believe it stuns with those six, but it's very rapid fire. And honestly, I believe you can stun just with that by itself, like very quickly. Uh, and it certainly helps when you're using it for accumulation stun with your other weapons. So yeah, so it's pretty nice. Uh, I don't use it nearly enough as I should to, uh, as I should be. Uh, especially when trying to get a stimulation, uh, a stimulation, <laughs> no, uh, accumulation stuns. All right, next weapon here is, if we pull it up, that is the Zaku 4 Large Heat Hawk. That is 3,300 damage, and uh, yeah, it is just basically a big old Heat Hawk, and it ha I believe it has the same uh, move set as the Dryson, and uh, unfortunately, well, I actually know there's no unfortunately for this. This thing uh, can knock people over. No matter the side swing, neutral swing, uh, the down swing is a straight rip of the uh, Dryson as well. You know, the little twirl and end with the axe. It can do a lot of damage if you can uh, connect both those hits. And of course, you do a big chunk of damage with the neutral swing as well because, you know, 3,300 damage. Um, you know, you can, uh, yeah, you can use this pr pretty well as a utility. Uh, I believe in some of the matches I've been playing, I've been using it to uh, set up for my teammates, knock somebody over, and somebody comes by and they can fuck them up while I can while I move on to my next target, you know. So things like that, or maybe maybe uh, high priority targets around, you can knock him down. So there's some uses for having this. Same thing, you know, with the Dryson. Uh, all right, next weapon here. So yeah, and it's got a little bit of range. So that's nice. The next weapon here is you have the uh, the head beam cannon times two. That's 1,300 damage, 85% heat rate, and 200 range. But uh, this thing can actually stun people, and you can boost while using it, which is definitely helpful, especially for a lot of people that, you know, this thing has two melee weapons, so if you can stun, boost up somebody, stun them, and then go in for a, uh, a melee uh, a melee attack, which, you know, if, as we saw the first melee weapon you have here, uh, yeah, the Heat Hawk, yeah, you can definitely uh, <laughs> stun somebody, knock them down just quick, like just like that, you know. Uh, and then, of course, if you already got a st accumulation stun, then you can go ahead and 
use that for a stun lock and then follow up. So yeah, pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice little instant stun weapon. Next weapon here is the... Oh, I'm about to repeat the same thing. Uh, we have the Beam Knuckle Duster times 2, which is 2,500 damage. And yeah, it is uh, your second melee weapon, and I, I have a little bit of problem with this one. Uh, the hitboxes are very just weird on this. There's a lot of times I keep trying to use it to follow up, and I know I'm doing the very generic thing of downswing and downswing, but there's times where I try to go for my neutral swing or my side swing. Of course, the side swing can be very, very uh, small, but the neutral swing just... It looks like it's going to hit somebody on the ground, but it doesn't, uh, unless you're, but oftentimes I'll hit somebody and then a moment, it feels like it has larger, like, uh, horizontal range than it does, but not vertical range, you know? It's very, very weird. Uh, there's moments where I do my neutral swing and it looks like it's literally on top of somebody, like even a suit as big as the E, uh, not EZZ, well I guess you can say that too, the EZZ or the double Zeta, and it just whiffs. It's like what excuse me <laughs> uh, but it does do a lot of damage when it does hit uh, the downswing you actually hit twice you do like a, a very close range hit you you're already you're already throwing out like your your right hand right and then you go in for a very familiar like striker custom punch uh, and yeah if you can hit both of those yeah quick and easy 6,000 damage which can be really good uh, however, the hitbox is just very weird. I even I've seen other players try to use this uh, in matches, and even then they can't like they they can't even figure it out half the time. Which uh, so I think that could probably use a little bit of a buff the hitbox for that. Uh, maybe they kept it a little bit wonky because they don't want to do like an easy just six thousand to three thousand damage combo. But then again, you know the easy easy exists, so I think they can get away with that. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, that was a lot of damage just with that little little punch. That was a neutral swing. And yeah, led up to a uh, follow-up for a kill. So yeah, it, it, it's fine. And weirdly enough, this thing doesn't have melee combo controller, which is weird with this set of weapons because it's a it, you know knuckle dusters pretty much. And you only swing once. It just feels really weird. Uh, yeah, next weapon here. We're going to start with the funnels, which should be pretty easy. You know, a lot of it's very similar uh, to other funnels. You have the funnels pincer which is a 400 damage per shot that is 55% heat rate and 300 range. And yeah, they're funnels that surround people and uh, yeah, we'll just uh, shoot somebody. <laughs> Works really great for stun accumulation with uh, your uh, machine gun, beam machine gun. So yeah, that's pretty useful as all funnels are. 300 range, pretty nice. Uh, next weapon here is the uh, some more funnels. You got the funnels uh, pursue which is 300 damage you get 30 percent heat rate and it's 250 range that is pretty much i call them follow funnels it says follow on the uh the icon for it and yeah they'll follow you around you can boost while using them uh and yeah i believe it takes if you're hitting everybody with every shot of the funnels it takes two bursts of it to uh to stun and yeah they're pretty good for following up uh and damage or helping somebody for sun accumulation uh, so yeah, pretty nice and of course like let's say if you uh, get stunned shooting your beam machine gun And you only have like three rounds left or four it's something that won't get you a stun by itself Or maybe you can suit with damage control you can use uh, the rest of the fire of that beam machine gun into your uh, You know your funnels and there you go More uh, stun accumulation options and before we get to our last weapon here uh, Mission completed and we'll see what we got going on here da -da -da -da. And uh, we got shot out the most. <laughs> At least we beat our rivals, I guess. And yeah, our excess did really well. And hey, first place, two and two. Don't know how I got first place, but uh, maybe because I was being very active that match. But uh, yeah, this next match is going to be my first ever match with the suit, so uh, it'll show. <laughs> uh, maybe it won't. I don't know. I I can't remember exactly what happens. But uh, yeah, now for your final weapon here, you have the funnel times two bombard which is a ballistic funnel. I believe it's our first ballistic funnel as well. That is a 230 damage per shot and it has three ammo, which it says three ammo, but uh, you it shoots three shots <laughs> and uh, 250 range. And yeah, it kind of works. It, it spreads like a shotgun, but it doesn't work like, you know, if it worked like the Xeon shotgun, holy shit, that actually be really fucking amazing. But uh, yeah, it does uh, just, it's basically just funnels, but it does like a little shotgun explosive blast, blast radius that's, that's pretty much it so it's just funnels but uh, it does do ballistic damage and ballistic damage at uh, especially at this high of a cost isn't as much as a priority for a lot of people so you'll be doing some uh, some good damage to people if you can lock them down uh, especially if all those uh, those shells hit somebody 
and you'll, uh, I, I'm not sure if that happened this match where you get to see me use all the damage poten uh, potential it provides, but uh, yeah, you can get some pretty nasty damage, and it has pretty high stun accumulation, usually like from the first uh, volley, if you mix in your beam machine gun, you'll get a stun accumulation, so it's pretty nice actually. Uh, and yeah, for skills, you have high performance balancers level 1, you have high spec and back level 2, you have assault booster level 3, you have maneuver armor level 4, which I believe you take 30% less damage while boosting, Jesus Christ. Uh, you have force injectors level 3, you have offense system level 1, that can be pretty good for your, your long winded uh, melee attacks. You have special leg buffer level 2, you have anti-blast stabilizer, nice, flight control program level 3, uh, which I believe is 50% less uh, from your uh, from your boost while you're boosting in the air, which is, wow, yeah, that can take up a lot if like you're really high in the air, uh, or you know you're in midair, I should say. You have a special special right shoulder armor buffer, which is I believe 30%, uh, including including with the special back add-on buffer, I believe that's 30% as well. You have enhanced tackle level five, which I'm going to be honest, I haven't really seen many too many people tackling with this. Uh, I'm sure it'll do a lot of damage to uh, supports, but uh, yeah, I think I used it that last match just to see what, how much damage it would do. It did like 1,000 something to a general, so uh, you know, it, probably good for last resort trying to kill you know a support at the last second, maybe or maybe adding to a combo to help a teammate. Oh my God, support! I have 10 health left. Jesus Christ. Uh, and then uh, you have a double dodge roll, which is actually quite nice. And then uh, final two, you hear have you? Oh wow, the final two skill you have here is the high performance counter program, which almost uh, actually I'm pretty sure all the four star suits have. Uh, which if you're at 30% health, you will uh, get a special counter and it'll do a lot more damage. And then finally, you have power accelerator level two. That's when you clash. You can immediately boost out of that clash. Uh, or after the clash animation is done, and then you can continue uh, fighting somebody, which is really good because the thing has a uh, two uh, melee uh, weapons, so you can get out of one clash and then pull up your other melee weapon and go straight into another, uh, to your other melee to uh, stop somebody, which can be pretty good. And yeah, that is the Zaku for Ilya Pazom, and I gotta say, uh, I'm not. I don't want to say I'm not too impressed with the suit because uh, there are some really really great functions with the suit like it has really good things uh the the axe is a uh, you know you can knock somebody over which can be very valuable at 700 especially because people can die really fast at the, at this cost uh so it'd be good to to have less people firing at you and of course it sets up for your team as well uh the accumulation stun is really nice on the suit with the funnels to the b machine gun uh even though this thing has a lot of close range capabilities honestly with how it can play it plays a lot like a mid-range suit and that can be quite helpful for uh uh for some engagements in uh, this cost uh, especially if you have another teammate with you uh, yeah you can do some pretty disgusting things uh the level four maneuver armor is nice but this thing uh, a problem i have i can see with the suit is that <laughs> uh, i've been spoiled by the ezz the ezz is quite literally one of the easiest raids you can play, one of the strongest raids you can play, uh, and this thing just can't really compete to the EZZ as far as I'm, I've am i played and I'm aware of. Uh, again, it does have the the options, they can do some, you know, like right there, you can do some really gross damage, and uh, especially to, gen uh, you know, even to generals, I should say, uh, but it doesn't have the, you know, it doesn't have the uh, the ability to just keep going like the EZZ. The EZZ, you know, has damage control level three, and of course, when it has bio sensor active, it it, it takes even it, even more to stun it. Uh, luckily, it only gets a dodge roll when it gets that bio sensor, but uh, yeah, it that doesn't stop it from just steamrolling people, even just generals, just easy snap of a finger. Uh, this thing, it has no uh, damage control. It just has the maneuver armor, so you can take instant stuns. But a lot of the suits at this cost have really easy sun accumulations like the uh, the new Gundam which is quite a common suit uh, you know the Sazabi can stun you as well pretty easily uh, the moon Gundam uh, frankly just any suit at 700 will be able to stun you uh, you know besides something like the <laughs> well, I should say uh, native 700 suits because you know the Yagdo QA ain't going to be stunning you anytime soon uh, potentially now that it has that new uh, commander beam rifle Ooh. <laughs> that commander uh, Ghiradoga machine gun I should say but uh, yeah so 
Uh, I don't think it's nearly as good as the EZZ, but that doesn't mean I think it's bad. I think the Zaku 4 does have merits, as I mentioned before, uh, and it can be quite useful to suits the, to players that can get accustomed to how it plays. How did I not get countered? What the fuck? <laughs> this little section is going to be just stupid to get through. You'll see my, my EZZ is just trying to down a heavy attack through everybody. Uh, but yeah, so it has merits. Uh, it's not going to be for me because again, like the EZZ, I, I've been spoiled just rotten with the EZZ. It's a suit that I literally would just play. If I want to play a support, <laughs> well, actually they buffed the uh, the Dagdoll, so I might see how the Dagdoll is now. But I literally been just been running the EZZ as my my support in matches because it just it's just that damn good. It's very scary as a raid. The Zaku 4 is not scary to me. Uh, the Zaku 4 is very manageable. Uh, it's a very manageable suit, while the EZZ is number one priority in a match. Uh, so yeah. So if you don't have a Zoc, if you oh I should say you don't if you don't have a four star raid, then go ahead and roll for this if you want it. Uh, or maybe you can see what else they have coming up for the Spring Fest. But uh, yeah, that's really gonna wrap up my thoughts on the. Uh, Isaku for IP, and if you guys enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want, I'd really appreciate it. And you know, type up in the uh, the comment section how you feel about the Zaku 4 IP. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Again, uh, I don't think it's a bad suit, but I, I think the EZZ is just straight up just superior in how how it acts in a match and how quickly people are, are how quick people are, excuse me, to notice how it needs to be taken out just immediately. And that thing, <laughs> it's very scary. Uh, this suit, as I mentioned before, is very manageable in a match. Uh, typically, you know, you can have a new Gundam versus Sazabi. It's like, oh, okay, so I'm going to stun you real fast and then go in for the combo. Meanwhile, if a Sazabi tries to stop an EZZ uh, with the, you know, typically, you know, with the shotgun uh, chest beam, uh, <laughs> potentially won't even be able to stop it. And then it can get run on by the EZZ just tr straight up. So, yeah, it, the maneuver armor level 4 is nice on the suit, but wow, yeah. The EZZ is just clearly just the stronger suit, in my opinion, and having played them played these both. But uh, hey, mission complete, and we'll see you guys going on real fast for the second match. This is my first match, by the way. And uh, hey, top individual, top individual score, nice. Almost uh, 300 away from 6,000, so nice. Going to praise our EZZ and uh, our uh, new. And hey, second place, 7-3. And yeah, so you can still do really good things with this suit. I don't think it's a, again, I don't think it's a bad suit at all, but... I'll be sticking with EZZ because I can do more for less with that suit, if you get what I mean. Also, it can fly. So <laughs> there's also some uh, some little small things about the suit, like the uh, the the dusters having a very weird hitbox that kind of lowered the suit down for me as well. I'm sure dedicated players that are playing this suit will probably figure out some very disgusting combos with this suit. Because again, if you hit the duster all the way, then yeah, you get uh, some gross damage even on general. So uh, we'll see how this suit is in the next uh, next week. And see how, or you know, I guess just in the, in the coming months to see how it uh, evolves uh, as people learn to play it. And maybe it'll be a very scary suit comparable to the EZZ. And uh, yeah, with that, I will see you guys later. Bye.